Is it going yet? Oh my god, I think it is. Okay. Um, I decided to try and put together a video just cause... Just cause. Let's just leave it at that. Without, uh... Cause I hate when people do videos where they, like, talk at the beginning for, like, ten whole minutes explaining what they're gonna do in the video and why they're gonna do it and why they made it. Like, you're not here for that, right? You're here just to watch... Just to watch the video. And to, you know... And that's, and, oh, I got nine more minutes of this. Shit. Okay, so, um, anyway, someone asked me on Tumblr, sorry if this isn't specific enough, but do you have any tips on simplifying your style? Mine wouldn't work with animation at all, and I'm having difficulty X underscore X. So, that's an interesting question, and it's one that I care deeply about, because I feel like I've probably mentioned that exact topic offhand multiple times in plenty of different posts over the years or streams or whatever um because that's something that i myself have struggled a lot with and continue to struggle with and it's an ongoing thing and it's a learning process and you know whatever it's something i have a lot of uh, feelings and opinions about so so let's uh let's dive right on in um First of all, I want everyone to know that I am by no means making this video as a point of authority on the matter. Uh, I'm speaking strictly from my experience. Um, there's plenty of people, probably, probably, who knows, on YouTube that do this kind of thing way better and probably have better advice and could speak from a point of authority. But I'm not those people. You didn't ask those people. You asked me. So I'm going to speak from my experience and I just want that out of the way that you know what I mean like I'm still learning like everyone's always still learning and I was taught by my animation professor that if you ever encounter someone who acts like they know everything there is no get as far away from them as possible because that's just not that's just not whatever you have to keep growing and learning and anyway are we at the 10 minute mark of of, of intro rambling yet because Whew. Okay, let's get started. So, everyone always says, like, to break down characters into basic shapes or whatever. And, I mean, I know that's, like, really general advice, but it's super helpful, especially for animation. Um, you know, it's... I mean, man, man, oh god, my mind's fucking everywhere. There's so much, there's so much stuff to talk about. So, so, like, obviously you don't have to break down you know, characters into shapes. If you want to be Richard Williams and animate, like, completely fucking realistic, just whatever, like, if you want to be a goddamn maniac, go for it. Like, no one's stopping you. It's all how much time <laughs> and sanity you're willing to, to put into it. And, um, but, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I, I looked over at my outline of things to talk about, and that made me lose my train of thought. So anyway, you can, uh, anyway, assuming you're starting out, how many times have I said anyway? Assuming you're starting out uh, doing, doing animation, uh, you know, and you're kind of a, a beginner or you're learning, um, I would suggest breaking characters down into simple shapes or whatever. That's just like the easiest way you're going to figure out how to move stuff around. Actually, what I would do is I would animate uh, things that aren't characters first uh, so that you get an idea of movement and how how much how much work it is and how much it takes. And I meant to, damn it, I had these things pulled up that I was gonna show you guys and now they're not pulled up, so I gotta go find them. Um, I'm gonna show you some old like animation 101 stuff that I did uh, like tests up on up on my Vimeo um, and they're not good <laughs> they're real bad but uh, just to give you guys an idea of like I don't know you know what that's taking too long you can google animation 101 bouncing ball pendulum uh, three objects, flower sack, whatever. Those are all animation 101 exercises. I'm not going to show you mine. That shit's boring. You're asking specifically about style. So, for like the third or fourth time now, let's dig in. Alright, I'm going to do this. So, 
Um, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, Craig. I'm talking to myself in here. Just so you know. He's not paying attention. My roommate just came in. Um, so you see this? This is like... This is the kind of stuff that I used to draw in high school, right? It's like a lot of pretty anime boys. Namely, a lot of pretty Yu-Gi-Oh! anime boys. Um, and I got to like the, the pinnacle of like this kind of style right here. Not the pinnacle, but I got like... I felt like I pushed that as far as I could possibly go, and it was just getting like really super boring and stale and whatever. Look at these, look at these two. Like, I don't know, I don't know what, what, where you're coming from with like, you know, in regards to what your style looks like or what you're trying to simplify, but like, you can't move this shit around. Like, you can't animate this shit. I mean, you can, but like, I can't. So, anyway, this was in like, I don't know, high school? Uh, 2005, 6, 4, I don't know. Um, anyway, I drew a lot of shit that looked like this. And so I got bored with that and I decided to try and like go back to a more like cartoony style. That's how I used to draw when I was younger. It was like a lot of cartoon dogs and Pokemon and whatnot. And um, so anyway, just try and like get back into that. And there was a really gross, awkward phase that my art went through for years. And that's most of the content of my deviant art, which I'm not going to show you. But um, anyway, then there was this um, page of drawings of Sock and Jonathan, who you may or may not recognize um, in this form, but this is something, this is from 2009, as it indicates down there in that scribble, and I know, like, this still looks like absolute garbage to me, but um, for whatever reason, I have it in my mind that, like, this page of doodles was, like, significant, like, oh, okay, like, this is getting closer to, like, something something that would be like easy to move around or animate or you know it's looking a little less gross than <laughs> than my art had been looking in the last year or so or whatever right? it was a really like drastic kind of shift from shit that looked like this to like more cartoony stuff or whatever and this is like when I finally started feeling like oh okay this is I'm going in a, a decent direction with this even though this still looks like total garbage to me like but it was like okay I'm, I'm i hit on the thing just a little bit i'm gonna try and like push this you know um anyway so then then all right i i got to college and decided to to, to animate because that was my major <laughs> i just decided one day you know what i can't major in animation unless i start animating <laughs> So, oh boy, um, what was I saying? I, oh god, there's like, there's like goo on my Cintiq. It's from ramen. Oh, I must have eaten ramen while I draw. Um, okay, so, so when I was in college, right, uh, let's just say like I decided I wanted to animate Welcome to Hell, and this may or may not, <laughs> this will either come as a shock or it'll make perfect sense that I had never animated a project like that before of that, not just of that scale, but like character animation or like lip sync animation or narrative animation. Um, obviously it's like what I wanted to do and so I just did it, but um, you know what I mean? I had, I had done like one exercise in like lip sync before, pretty much no exercises in character design. Um, I had done a little bit of like narrative stuff before without dialogue, but but not much. Um, so anyway, so I have like, you know, fucking no, not those ugly things. These characters, these ugly things, uh, you know, in my in my head, like how to. Well, that's not true. When I when I first got to college, they looked more like I had been drawing them a little more and, and, and they looked kind of more more like. Eh. Oh, that's not it. That's not it at all. That is not it at all. I copied the same thing twice. Dang it. Oh man. I really wanted I really wanted that other image. Oh, poops. 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 Poops.
Oops. I didn't find it. This is a bad video. This is a bad video and I should start over. This is a bad video and I should start over. And then keep going. Oh yeah, here we go. This is safe. This is the first page in something I was keeping during senior year called my morgue book, which was like just a bunch of sketches and production notes and stuff as I was working on Welcome to Hell. I kept it all throughout the year. Um, it is available on Gumroad. My Gumroad, I guess I can link to that if you want to buy it. It's 10 bucks. The only reason it's not on the internet for free is because I used it as a Kickstarter prize and I don't want to undermine, you know, <laughs> the people who actually donated to my Kickstarter back when I was trying to produce Welcome to Hell in the first place. So anyway, um, I'm just going to go over a couple pages from it because I think they kind of, uh, kind of illustrate like <laughs> the ultimate point of what I'm trying to get at, uh, simplifying your style. So this is the very first page in my morgue book and this is like how I was drawing sock at the time. And like, you can tell it's sock. It looks more like sock than those older drawings. Um, but like it, it's still different, right? Like this is still not how we ended up looking in the, in the thing, in the thing. <laughs> um, he had this like, like too many hairs, you know what I mean? Like all, he only had two of these little guys for his bangs. Only two, two of these things. Here he had three for some freaking reason, who knows? Here he had two. Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out, trying to figure out stuff. Still kind of drawing with like these weird sort of, this is just how I draw when I'm like illustrating, right? Like these aren't drawings for animation. These are like, it's just the way I draw when I'm just not thinking, or it was at the time that I drew these. Um, you know what I mean? Like a more, you had like a more pronounced nose and stuff like that. Um, it's like, it's close. You know what I mean? He didn't just have like these kind of eyes. He had like this and had, like eyelids on him and whatever. He's got like a little more going on with his nose. A lot more going on with the goggles. They had like these ledges on them. Like obviously this is a little too complex for me to animate having never take taken on a project of this, um, you know, caliber before. Like, his scarf is like, ugh. Anyway, whatever. Um, so there was that. This is what he looked like at the very beginning of my, um, Mord book. And then I started storyboarding. And in storyboarding, <laughs> my thumbnails, I never really properly storyboarded it. I just made thumbnails. And they looked like this. Like, they looked like absolute garbage, but, um, you know what I mean? Like, this was just kind of, uh, I'm not, mm, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know that I'm necessarily saying you need to do crappy storyboards in order to figure out how to draw your characters, but, like, just for the sake of getting them down quickly or whatever, like, you break, like, I broke them down to, like, the most simple, you know, shapes that they were, right? Like, uh, uh, uh. Eh, eh, you know what I mean? Um, so maybe, like, do a couple doodles like that, right? Where you're just, okay, he's got these ear flaps, he's got this chubby face, you know, that. Like, but see, and now that's, like, that's even something as stupid as that is closer to, like, what you would recognize as sock from the film. Um, so yeah, there's those. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, okay, next is this big page of, again, me trying to figure out how to draw the characters. Like, here's a page of Jonathan's. Like, I have no idea how to draw Jonathan at this point. Like, what is this? What is this? What is this? He's got, like, a defined, like, face and stuff, and he's got all these, like, like crevices in his ears. And look how many... Look how many. Look how many. Look how many hair bananas. It's too many. It's too many. Um, I did a hair, f hair flow diagram, like, oh, okay, these bangs point down this way, the back of it scoops up like that, you know, how does he look like from the front? I didn't know how to, like, look at this, how do I John? It says, how do I John? Like, you know, how do you draw an undercut? Um, anyway, whatever, all this, 
uh, I guess hoodie. Like, I just would draw like a lot of, and you know, and there's nothing wrong with drawing like that necessarily. It just wasn't going to work for the kind of animation that I wanted to do. Like, sometimes I draw these like really wrinkly kind of, but sometimes I just draw like that because I have a pen. I draw differently depending on what kind of, what utensil I'm using. <laughs> but, um, you know what I mean? Like, how do you simplify that or whatever? Um, and then you've got sock over here. God, where do I start? These are like, these are helpful. Like just these stupid little quick drawings, breaking down the character and the, the you know, the shapes and the lines that make them up or whatever. Um, here's where he starts having three, I guess, three of these points. Now he's still got two and a couple of these. Um, make sense of any of these. These are a good sock. That's a decent sock, I think. Again, these are still kind of weird, but this, I don't connect. I guess I was talking about his hair. I didn't, his sideburns aren't showing during it anyway, but I, I guess that's what that means. Is like, don't con connect his, you know, that, that was like, whenever I wrote this note, that seemed like a shorthand to me. Like, oh, okay, like, don't, See, look, here's his three, there's his three hairs. That must have been where I started thinking about that. Like, um, I'm just undoing, um, you know, whatever. So, so there's some more, like, getting closer, you know, doing silhouettes, trying to figure out, like, what his body looks like, what are, what are, how does he move? Um, oh, okay, then I've got also, this is like, this is, I think, on the second page. This is the first drawing of Mephistopheles in my sketchbook, and, like, again, totally I mean it's Mephistopheles for sure but like it doesn't look it's not quite the design that that was used in the film you know um he's got like a whole bunch of these hair thingies going on he's a little too fluffy he's a little a little too much mouth well he's always had too much mouth but you know this is a little less exaggerated you know well, the sideburns are about the same honestly um but yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he, he just looks a little, I don't know, he just looks a little extra. Um, and then, I think I've got another, oh, okay, these are some doodles of Mephistopheles where I, like, I put stars by them because I thought, oh, okay, this is getting closer, right? So now you've just got, now you've just got these three. Like, okay, just simplify that shape to three, and do these, and then that, right? right? Like that's, I think I've talked about this before in my hair design tutorial from a while ago, but um, you know, just kind of simplified, simplified his face down a bit, you know, have this kind of thing going on, the saggy eyes. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, these are just getting closer so just you know make make a bunch of drawings and put little stars by the ones that you feel are getting closer to what you want this is a <laughs> this is a drawing of sock that if I remember correctly was just sitting um, well I had a whole bunch of drawings on my cubicle but um, mm, excuse me this one I imagine from the looks of it was like a goal to aim for. Like this is probably the first drawing of sock that I felt like was simplified enough to be doable for an animation. And even then it doesn't quite quite look like the way he ended up in the film. He was usually fatter, right? Like he had more of a like that would be more accurate, I think. Um and then, you know, and a thinner neck and like his you know, his scarf would have been more cartoony, more, more chunky looking, um, but yeah, like, you know, this kind of got closer to what I wanted, like, now, now the, uh, oh, come on, I undid too much, I undid too much, okay, <laughs> so now, like, you know, now these have been simplified down to just these sort of chunks, just these sort of shapes, and they can still have volume, you know, um, the goggles have also just been simplified down to like these sort of shapes, 
There's the flap from his hat. God, I can't draw this shit. Um, you know, just that sort of thing. And going back to this image that I first had pulled up, um, breaking the characters down into shapes. Like, this is kind of what it all comes down to. Like, obviously, you don't have to draw these shapes every single time you draw the characters, but if you make a quick little sketch of them, like I did in blue here, or whatever I did, whatever color, um, and just kind of like explode the character, like, um, you know, you've got these little shapes out to the side of them or whatever, where I was like making note, okay, like, gentlemen, then this triangles and ovals, right? You just got like an oval head. Oh, yo, what's up? Oh no, I don't care. I thought you look busy. Can I have some coffee? Oh, yeah, totally have some coffee. It's real coffee this time, too. <laughs> No, I don't mind at all. It's okay. You're not you're not interrupting anything important. Um that was <laughs> that was my roommate asking if he could have the coffee that I made and it's real coffee this time because the first time I just put um just put water into it. <laughs> I just put water and no coffee grounds. I don't know, I guess I was half asleep. Anyway. Anyway. That's uh that's Craig. So so where was I? Uh, triangles and ovals. Um, right, so, so like, okay, his face is, like, obviously an oval shape. I started drawing, like, but, okay, his eyes tend to be like that. His nose is kind of a triangle. Well, it's more like a this sort of triangle. But, um, you know, ears, broke down nose, like the hoodie. You know, instead of just drawing these, like, all my older drawings had, like, the hoodie looked like, uh, like this, and all these wrinkles and whatever. That that was, like, the, the remnants of my, like, more illustrative, like, whatever fucking pretty anime boy shit. Um, so, you know, tried to, to break that down into just, like, a basic shape that was doable, drawable, drawable. Um, that's like the body shape, there's like the forearm shape, there's the, the, the lower arm, wait, forearm, what? whatever, upper arm and lower arm, like, you know what I mean, that, that's kind of going to make that shape when his, when his sleeve is on top of it, but yeah, just like thinking of, thinking of characters as like volumetric things that can move around rather than just lines that are coming out of your pencil. <laughs> You've got kind of simplified noodly legs and then like shoes like that, which I broke down into a shape like this and a shape like that, you know. It says overly rectangular thing with fingers. I don't know what the f that means. Um, that's a hand, by the way. <laughs> it's not... Um, you know, and then sock, again, is like a cute round, sh let's see, wavy shapes and rounded teardroppy shapes. You've got a teardroppy shape, you've got teardroppy shape, it's an upside down teardroppy shape, but teardroppy shape nevertheless. You know, teardroppy shape here, and a scarf, round, wavy triangles for like the part of the scarf that hangs down. Got like a wavy angled kind of thing for his skirt. Um, I don't know, yeah, like teardroppy shapes for the, oh, for some reason these are like square. They should be teardrop, teardroppy shapes for his ear flaps, you know. Um, yeah, got these like wavies, like this is the, the, the wave pattern of, it's like an S almost. Um, anyway, yeah, so, you know, that was sock, and then... I had square fingers written. I don't know if I ever actually gave him square fingers. Um, and then, you know, Mephistopheles shapes, rectangles, and triangles. Yeah, just kind of that. I mean, it's what he, it's what he is. Like some rectangles, some triangles, and what have you. You know, another triangle, there's a rectangle. You know, this kind of thing. Um, through his like eyes. That's supposed to be, oh, that's an ear. So 
albums. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's, I mean, that's what helps me anyway. That's what seems to help a lot of people. Uh, so yeah, I guess I would recommend um, breaking down your characters into smaller, not smaller, uh, more simplified, manageable shapes and um, drawing on top of that. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe storyboards or quick doodles or something where you can kind of reduce them to their most basic uh, elements. And, you know, when you find something you like, something that's close to what you want to shoot for, like save that, you know, and, and, and stick that on the wall or on, on your Cintiq or somewhere where you can just look at it like, yeah, that's what I'm going for. And even if, you know what I mean, even if you um, you end up kind of developing that as you go into something different um <laughs> you know that's that's totally fine uh that happens but it's it's you can always look at that as like an idea of what to shoot for and then I want to show you one last thing um if I can do it quick enough my computer's real laggy I guess it's lasted three years longer than most macbooks do so I guess I can't complain but I can complain. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Welcome to hell. <laughs> I have to go to YouTube to find Welcome to Hell. <laughs> it's quicker than actually looking for it on my computer. Oh. Don Francisco's coffee, by the way. Good, good ass coffee. Um, I am not paid to say that. If you want to pay me to say that, um, you know, hit me up. Because I will. I mean, I'll do it for free, but I'll do it for money, too. So, um... Ugh, okay. Well, welcome to home. Um, I just want to say, I just want to show, like, for instance, when I first started animating, some of the first shots that I started animating was this montage, because it didn't have any dialogue, and I hadn't recorded my dialogue yet, right? So I could just start animating anything that didn't need the characters to speak. Um, and so <laughs> any shots where characters aren't speaking, like, I don't know if you've figured this out already, but um, those are like some of the first ones that I did. Maybe you can tell by the style. Maybe you can't. I don't know. But um, so yeah, like, you know, even in these shots, like Jonathan's hair is still a little more complex looking, you know. Um, let's see if I can find an example. Like, they haven't totally been simplified down to, like, a manageable state. No, yeah, that's fine. That looks alright. Oh, this one in particular. Oh, no. This one in particular, like, all of, all, like, look at all these bangs. I would never draw him like that now. This is pro this might have been the first shot I ever animated. I'm not, I don't know. It was like one of the first couple for sure, you know. Um, but yeah, that, that's, oh man. Uh, these were actually kind of later in the game because the characters are talking usually. Um, I don't know, like all this. Well, he's kind of simplified right there, but... Still, like, he's a little more, um, I don't know, a little more ill-defined, I guess. Um, yeah, as opposed to, say, like, a shot like this, uh, which was, like, one of the, one of the last, I think, it was one of the later shots that I animated, um, because this one was done in TV paint, I remember, not actually by hand. Um, or I mean, you know, not actually uh, traditional. Um, so yeah, like, you know, now he's kind of simplified down to just like, he's got three bananas and he's got a couple bananas here. Um, hair bananas, you know, like, he, he's more simple looking now. Because um, at this point, like, I've kind of got a handle on how to draw him. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically it. I don't know if that was, uh, <laughs> the kind of advice you were, were looking for, but, um, but, um, yeah, so hopefully that helps. Uh, that's just, I mean, that's my advice. There's plenty of other 
advice out there, I'm sure. Uh, but, you know, and again, I don't know what your specific situation might be. Um, but yeah, just uh, keep drawing. Draw a lot. Don't worry about how good the drawings look. Um, because in animation, like, you don't have to have <laughs> every single frame as, like, this beautiful work of art. Like, it's kind of all about the overall movement of it. Like, all of these kind of smaller, more insignificant drawings make up the larger um, art of movement, I guess. So, you know what I mean? Um, don't worry. Don't worry so much about... about filling in details and, um, you know, just, just try and simplify, uh, you know, whatever makes your characters quicker, easier to draw, simpler to draw, um, and kind of work on that until you find something that, you know, that is appealing and manageable. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, maybe I'll do some more videos in the future maybe? I don't know. So I have something to put on my channel until Welcome to Hell 2 comes out. <laughs>